there you go. All right, so what we got here is this uh, is a 720 sleeve, or maybe it's a 657, I don't know, it don't matter. But check out down in here, Larry. So what we did is first, see, see how those are broken? Can you see how the sleeve is broken right there? So how we do that is this. You can kind of see on the sides where we were cutting on it. Just back up just a little bit, man. I'm trying to get a shot of that. Yeah, yeah. anyways, uh, so what's going on here is uh, you can see where the fire was burning right there. That's where we cut the sleeve. So you cut the sleeve here, then you cut the sleeve here, then you cut the sleeve here, then you cut the sleeve here. And it leaves, you knock this section out, knock this section out, knock this section out, knock this section out. Then you're left with that. Now you're ready to heat the cylinder in the oven to 350 degrees. And, and it, it's going to take a while. You know, give it a good 30 minutes or so with this in the oven at a preheated temperature. So anyways, and then the, the cylinder will expand and the sleeve should slide out easily. You may get like a, a, a different size piston that fits in here real nice that you can use to tap it out. But if there's any damage, say on this lip right here, say if this is all beat up inside of here from the piston damage on it, can you see that all right? Or should mm -hmm. I turn it on a different angle? I got it. If, so if this was damaged, I would use a tool like this and I would get in here and I would grind all that out. Then I would attempt to remove the sleeve after it was heated. So it, that's the way you have to try it. Do not try to remove a, a broken sleeve any other way. All right, you can get this up.